September of 2020, I was lucky enough to take a trip to Cancun amid this horrible pandemic. I had a great time. I went to Isu Mujeres, Playa Tortugas, used Caribe shuttle service, which was amazing. Stayed at the Casa Maya Cancun Hotel, which was also amazing. This whole trip exceeded my expectations by at least a hundred. I'd been to Cancun before, but it had been 20 years ago, and I didn't stay. I just kind of passed through. And now I'm wondering why I haven't come here more. But enjoy this video. I will show you all things I did. I'll have a second one because this trip is only halfway over and I still have to go to El Rey Mayan Ruins and the Mayan Museum. This is the International United Terminal at Houston Airport. I'm going to be heading to Cancun in about 30 minutes, so I thought I'd give you a look around real quick. It's a nice terminal, very clean, huge. And this store over here allows you to buy things without interacting with person. Just scan those computers and pay out right there. The flight was short. It took about an hour and 50 minutes out of George Bush International Airport in Houston. Before I knew it, we were landing in Cancun and I was ready to go. I used Caribe shuttle service at the airport to the hotel and they were right on target. They were there with my name. For the trip to the hotel, we went right through most of the hotel zone and it was beautiful. I was really, really impressed. Now I chose the Casa Maya Hotel because a YouTube personality that I follow named William Toddian had just stayed there and left a great review of the place and I was not disappointed. The check-in was fast and the guy at the front desk, his name was Sergio, just upgraded us to a suite without really even asking. It was huge. It had a kitchen, dishwasher, dishes, pans, everything we need to cook lightly. Dining room, two balconies, full living room. Air was ice cold. The bedroom was huge. The bed was soft and great. Great night's sleep. Uh, had a big closet with a safe and of course the bathroom. Wonderful place for my four night stay. It had a double balcony off the dining room and the living room with a great view of the Caribbean. Just absolutely breathtaking. The grounds of the hotel were neat and landscaped and just constantly being cleaned at all times. There were two restaurants and two bars, one indoor and one outdoor by the pool. There were three pools, something always going on at the pool. Or food out by the pool, I had some nachos which were delicious. Okay, we are getting ready to get on the ferry to Isla Mujeres. And we are at Playa Tortugas, which means Turtle Beach in Mexico. Me and my friend Hugh, my friend Joseph, 
I'm gonna take all the footage of the way over. It should be like 20 minutes. The ferry should leave it also about 20 minutes. Then we're gonna go get a margarita before we go. For the ferry ride over to Isla Mujeres from Playa Tortugas, they gave good instructions in English and Spanish on what you could do on and off the ferry and different tours you could take. Isla Mujeres is approximately 4.3 miles long and 2,130 feet wide. In pre-Columbian times, it was sacred to the Maya and the goddess Ixchel, who was the goddess of childbirth and medicine, hence the name Isla Mujeres. We took a taxi ride around the island to get a good look at everything, and our taxi driver was very helpful and very talkative and showed us a lot of interesting things on the island. The taxi ride was about six US dollars. We came to lunch at this little restaurant called Rubens on Isla Mujeres. Beautiful little place. Very nice, very nice people. Hola, Hola. I had enchiladas with mole sauce and my friend had chiquitos. The bill was very cheap, about $23 for three people. We were back at the hotel by around two o'clock in the afternoon and spent the rest of the day just laying on the beach, having some drinks, having dinner, and enjoying Cancun, the beautiful weather, and all of the sights. So look soon for a part two to this video because I'm also gonna visit El Rey Mayan ruins, which are here in the hotel zone, and a Maya museum, which is here also. So I'm looking forward to all of that. See you soon.